Hello everyone, okay, in this video uh, I'm about to make, we're going to look at some adverts and stuff which presidential candidates um, put out against them, against their rivals and things for themselves. Uh, all these are available, there's a link on Teams on the election campaign section um, of all these adverts, especially since 1952. We're going to have a look through a selection of them just to see what it tells us about election campaigns. Obviously, most of these adverts take place in the swing states. It's one reason why elections are so expensive. So this first one is rather a nice one. It's from 1952 uh, over the election of Dwight D. Eisenhower um, as U.S. president. His nickname was Ike. <laughs> You see that was quite a nice fluffy advert. Right, 1964, we'll have a look at one now by Lyndon Johnson. hitting uh, adverts I'm sure you can tell uh, obviously in the midst of the Cold War although the fact that a seven-year-old can't count to ten I think it's also quite um, worrying as well but anyway okay the next ones we're gonna look at are 1988 with uh, George Bush okay very often adverts can reveal some weaknesses of candidates um, and sometimes you get these very fluffy ones about how what lovely person they are and stuff. So clearly, as seen obviously in that there must have been an issue about Bush perhaps not being seen as being particularly friendly or something like that. So let's look at this advert by the Bush campaign. Someone said to George, how can you run for president? You don't have any constituency. And George said, well, you know, I've got a great big family and thousands of friends. And uh, that's what he has. For more than 40 years, George Bush has met every challenge his country and the world have offered up to him. The truth is, the more you learn about George Bush, the more you realize that perhaps no one in this century is better prepared to be president of the United States. See there how they're trying to marry up, aren't they? Both this family friendly man who you, know, you can have a barbecue with, and also this person who was vice president previously, now to work with Mrs. Thatcher and Mother Teresa, etc. etc. 
Okay, not all George Bush's adverts are quite that nice. This next one uh, was against his opponent, uh, Mr. Dukakis. Dukakis was governor of uh, Massachusetts, and in that state they had this policy of weekend passes for prisoners. Okay, so I will show you the advert, uh, which is not quite so nice and fluffy, against Mr. Dukakis. So here we go. Bush and Dukakis on crime. Bush supports the death penalty for first-degree murderers. Dukakis not only opposes the death penalty, he allowed first-degree murderers to have weekend passes from prison. One was Willie Horton, who murdered a boy in a robbery, stabbing him 19 times. Despite a life sentence, Horton received 10 weekend passes from prison. Horton fled, kidnapped a young couple, stabbing the man and repeatedly raping his girlfriend. Weekend prison passes. Dukakis on crime. So you can see there, quite a hard-hitting campaign. Obviously, one of the big issues which Bush campaigned on was to do with the economy. Sorry, the economy, yeah, but also to do with crime. Uh, Dukakis didn't help himself in the debates because he was against the death penalty and he was asked, um, you know, if your wife, I think she was called Kitty, was raped and murdered, would you want the death penalty for the man? And he basically said no. And it made him seem a bit kind of out of touch. Um, anyway, so the next one I'm going to show you, it's, it's often quite nice to get this humour into adverts. I'm going to show my favourite one now from the Obama one where they pour a bit of humour into this particular advert. Barack Obama and I approve this message. Bernie Madoff, Ken Lay, Dennis Kozlowski, criminals, gluttons of greed, and the evil genius who towered over them? One man has the guts to speak his name. Big Bird. Big Bird. Big Bird. It's me, Big Bird. Big, yellow, a menace to our economy. Mitt Romney knows it's not Wall Street you have to worry about. It's Sesame Street. I I'm going to stop the subsidy to PBS. Mitt Romney taking on our enemies no matter where they nest. Okay, so a bit of humour there, which I think always goes down well with adverts. Okay, the next ones I'm going to show you are ones from the 2020 election campaign, Biden and Trump. So I'll leave you to get on with watching them. Just to shout out that uh, there are some links on uh, the team, to, uh, some videos about overviews of previous elections. There's 2000, for example, 1976, 1992. They're well worth watching to get a real feel for how elections in America take place and some of the issues um, between these elections. These are all official adverts. You do also get adverts which are run by pressure groups called PACs. Uh, we'll do more about this when we do about election funding. Um, so they also take place in the States as well. Anyway, I'll leave you now to enjoy a lot of adverts from the 26, no, 2020 election. President Trump built a great economy, and amidst a global pandemic, he's doing it again. The Great American Comeback, three months of record job growth, an incredible 9.3 million jobs added, devastated industries adding back hundreds of thousands of jobs, women and minorities going back to work in record numbers, unemployment dropping again, President Trump's renewing, restoring, rebuilding our economy, and the best is yet to come. I'm Donald J. Trump, and I approve this message. He went, he went, he became president. I didn't go and I'm still vice president. And, uh, and in addition to that, uh, in addition to that, we have to uh, make sure that we, uh, we are in a position that we are, think about it. Everybody is known from day one how smart, how bright Hillary is. Everybody knows how tough she is. You know, the rapidly rising uh, um, uh, in with, uh, with uh, I don't know. Uh, uh, so be successful. I sincerely hope some of you become millionaires and billionaires. I mean that. But engage. Um, you know, there's a, uh, during World War II, uh, you know, where Roosevelt came up with a thing uh, that, uh, you know, was totally different than a... Then the, the it's called, he called the, you know.
Commander in Chief. It's more than just a job. Since taking office, President Donald Trump has rebuilt our military, repaired a broken VA, and eliminated Soleimani, al-Baghdadi, ISIS, the world's deadliest terrorists brought to justice. Today, America is safer and stronger than ever. Because to President Trump, it's more than just a job. It's a sworn duty to keep America safe. I'm Donald J. Trump, and I approve this message. So you can see the general themes in this election coming from the Republicans. So it's about security and safety. It's attacking uh, Biden's being like an old man. And also this idea about the economy. Notice no mention of coronavirus. Okay, now let's see some from the Biden campaign. I think it's under control. I'll tell you what, how? A thousand Americans are dying a day. They are dying. That's true. And you ha it is what it is. 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 Nobody knew there'd be a pandemic or an epidemic of this proportion. a serious threat you have to meet it as one country numbers don't lie the infection rates are now going up in more states than they're going down we gotta fight this together wear a mask keep your distance limit the size of crowds it may be inconvenient it may be uncomfortable but it's the right thing to do as an american we need a president who will level with the american people President will tell us the unvarnished truth. The president will take responsibility instead of always blaming others. The president will listen to the experts, follow the science, allow them to speak. The president will lead and be an example for the nation. We have to do all we can to keep our fellow Americans safe and healthy. I'm Joe Biden, and I approve this message. Okay, I hope you enjoyed those adverts uh, from recent elections. As I keep saying, do look on Teams for those uh, videos on YouTube um, about previous elections and some of the factors which led to success and failure of different candidates. Um, there will be some upcoming videos on the Electoral College and then looking at why do some people win and some people lose elections. Okay, I hope you enjoyed those and I will see you all in the not too distant future.